Plus, the war in Ukraine continues. The reliance on drones has exponentially increased, and not just for Russia, but also for Ukraine. Drones have been crucial in the war since the very first of the days. At the time, it was the Ukrainian servicemen who had deployed them to monitor the Russian troop movements. Last year, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had also appealed for donations, that is, gifts of small consumer drones to be donated directly to Ukraine or to warehouses in the United States and Poland for onward shipments to the front lines. The drones were shown as capable enough of destroying tanks. Videos posted by pro-Russian social media channels appear to show low-cost suicide drones called Lancet drones, damaging or destroying Ukraine's valuable Western donated equipment, such as Leopard 2 tanks and also the Caesar self-propelled howitzers. Russia in the late last few weeks has also launched overnight drone attacks, which has killed many civilians. And now Ukraine has ramped up its usage of drones. Affectionately referred to as birdies, the Ukrainian soldiers rely on homemade reconnaissance drones to relay accurate information to their artillery. Now, these drones help them to hit targets and to conserve shells. Unlike the small drones used by the civilians, these larger drones can in fact stay airborne for nearly about two to three hours. But on, on an average, each drone makes just about 20 flights before it gets shot down. The drones have also emerged as the deadliest of innovations in the warfare in Ukraine. As the war rages on this smart, low-cost tech has in fact enabled the military tacticians to come up with new ways of destroying each other's infrastructure. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.